Welcome back to the Little Horus Drag Races story. This is part eight. Um, I have a few fun um, updates for you all, uh, but first things first, uh, we're back on the dino. this time we took the car over to Mac VW over in Manchester and um, Steph the owner knows a few things about air cooled motors so he's the perfect person to uh, sort the job out and um, we did a few test runs on the dyno and was about ready to do um, our power run uh, when we got an oil leak um, which started leaking from the pump side um, it was no biggie it was an easy fix so we managed to get that ready um, and we got everything sorted and ready to make some numbers um, we set the car up um, for the power run and I am pleased to say drum roll please that this time the car made 247 horsepower at the wheels uh, a much healthier number than last time this was the kind of figures I were expecting last time um, uh, that we did on the old on the old dyno um, but yeah much much healthier numbers um, using the turbo smart um, uh, boost control valve which I fitted about six months ago we did up the boost slightly but not by much and um, we changed it from the 7 psi that is uh, that's what the spring inside the wastegate is rated to to somewhere between 8 and 10 psi um, I say somewhere between 8 and 10 psi uh, because we're not actually a hundred percent sure because in true little Horus um, bad luck style we had an electrical failure um, so we couldn't get um, a printout and we lost a little bit of data um, so I, I don't have a chart to show you um, with it but um, we did we did up the boost slightly and when I ran the car on the track and tested it um, I do have a boost gauge in the car and the boost gauge was reading somewhere between 9 and 10 but it is a little difficult to sort of like read the gauges when you when you're racing and when you're on the track so that's why I'm not a hundred percent sure actually what boost we're running but yes we're, we're somewhere between um, probably 9 and 10 psi I, I, I think but yeah I'm much happier with that figure of uh, 247 now we're uh, we're still not running the water meth at the moment. Um, Steph had, uh, over at Mac VW had had, had uh, little to no experience with um, water methanol, and I'm just learning myself, so I don't really know the twos and fro's of it. So um, we did decide to turn it off this time um, to begin with. Um, I've not gave up on the idea of running the water meth. It's something I really want to get into to uh, to cool to cool everything down. Um, but once um, I've done a little bit more reading on it, a little bit more research, and I'm happy and I know we can use it safely, then um, I almost certainly will report back um, with hopefully some 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 bigger horsepower numbers once we've got the uh, the water methanol worked out. So with uh, the car all set up, we were ready for the track and with all the COVID stuff going on around the world, um, the club had hired Santa Pod Raceway for over two days to uh, run a private event. It was the first Volkswagen DRC drag days and what an event it turned out to be. Um, we ran it over the two days, over the Thursday and the Friday, and the club had hired the track, uh, so we had it all to ourselves. We had plenty of track time. Um, to test the car. Um, on the Thursday, the first few runs that I did, I did a lot of experimentating with um, tyre pressures. Um, uh, one run I actually dropped the tyre pressures down to 12 psi um, on the back end and boy oh boy was that a mistake. Um, 
the, the car drove terrible it was light on the rear end it was all over the track and round about the thousand foot mark it threw me into the lane uh, the car lost all traction and I very nearly took out a timing light so uh, I mean luckily no damage was done maybe apart from a bit of pride but um, yeah that, that, that was a, a hairy experience um, after all the the testing with tire pressures um, I found out uh, it turned out that the, the perfect pressure for my setup um, running the M and H uh, slicks that I've got on the back is 18 um, psi. So uh, yeah, I headed back up to the the fire up lanes and finally, finally, after years of trying to get the car back into the 12, finally did it. Um, first run were a 12.7. Um, then quickly followed by a new personal best of uh, 12.33.108. So I, I was really pleased with that. Um, finally smashing that personal best. It felt it felt glorious, honestly. After years and years of bad luck and um, chasing this damn 12 down, um, did finally uh, finally achieve it, honestly. Um, Friday. Friday uh, was a different story and uh, believe it or not the problem was the weather it wasn't raining it wasn't the usual UK rain problem it was the total opposite it was too hot and I mean damn hot by 11 a.m. in the morning temperature reached 32 degrees it climbed steadily and by the time I got on track the temperature was 37 degrees that's the hottest day we've had in the UK since 2002 so it was, it was just scorching um, uh, you know the, the rubber was so sticky it was just melting on the track it was it was just bloody bonkers so I only did two runs on the Thursday and we did struggle we did a 13-1 and a 13-3 uh, and the car, the car just did not like the, the, the warm weather at all. So rather than breaking anything, um, we did decide to pack up and go home. So it, it really was a, a great few days of racing. Shame, shame the weather on Friday was, uh, was, was so hot. But the uh, question is, am I happy with the performance? Well, yes and no. I'm happy I smashed my personal best with that 12.33, but felt like it was a perfect run and I'm not too sure what the car's got left in the tank. Um, it feels like getting the car into the 11s is still still a long way off. Um, it ran smooth, it ran nice, I just I expected a little bit more out of it, especially now we're, we're hovering around the 250 horsepower mark. I really thought the car would dip easily into the 11s um, um, but it, 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 just, it just weren't to be. I know the weather was against us, it was very hot um, I, could, I did get told the, by one of the racers that the humidity was something like 93% um, so you know obviously not great but I, I did expect a little bit more out of the car um, so uh, my next plan um, is to get the water meth working uh, so we can start cooling that air once that's done and tested uh, we can then start adding more boost uh, and this means well yeah you've guessed it it's another trip to the dyno but hopefully then we'll really start to see some um, exciting numbers so um, yeah last uh, but not least I'd like to show you well show off um, my new trailer um, I picked this up last year um, I've always wanted a box trailer. I've actually never owned a trailer before. Um, the trailer I've always used when I've been racing, I've always either hired or borrowed off my brother. Um, so it's, I thought it was about time that I'd bought um, a trailer. Always wanted a box trailer, always wanted something with an awning on the side. This come along, it was in my price range and it, you know, it, it's perfect for my needs. Um, it's a bit tight, um, <laughs> to say the least, the car only just fits inside. Um, so it's a, it's a real faff getting the car in there. I would have liked to have got something bigger, but unfortunately, um, funds just um, didn't allow that. Um, but everything works. It's got all the electrics working it. Um, I've installed a workbench, a tool um, box on it. So it's, it's like a little little mini mobile uh, garage, really, a little mini mobile workshop. Um, so you know, I've wanted one for years. So yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd show that to you guys. Um, you know, I've been racing now. Um, I've worked. I've had this car now. I've been racing since 2009, 
Um, so in 11 years I've been uh, racing this car and um, yeah only now I've finally sort of like got my stuff together, got the car doing low 12s and um, you know finally got all my stuff and finally starting to look like a more of a professional drag racer so uh, yeah it just goes to show it's not really not as easy as people think uh, driving fast in a straight line right that's about it for this update um, oh one last thing um, I did have some stickers made up for the car um, which you can see here um, I think little Horus is looking pretty damn awesome um, with his new decals um, if I do say so myself and um, thanks to Adam over at Gilby Art uh, for sorting the artwork um, out for me go out and check this guy's work he's brilliant um, um, Adam Gilbertson he's called Gilby Art um, you can find him on Facebook and Instagram and all those uh, usual places um, I also had a batch of the round stickers that you can see on the on the window uh, there made up um, as well um, so I, I've got some of those so um, if, if you want one I will take them with me uh, next time on the track um, you come and find me and uh, yeah you, uh, if you want uh, you can proudly display a, a little Horus drag racing uh, sticker uh, on, on your motor right uh, that's it for me I'll have another update um, hopefully in a couple of months we do have another race meeting coming up in um, September a couple actually in September which I'm hoping to get to um, so I'll do another video and uh, maybe a, a round a round off of our of our year um, see how we got on um, hopefully maybe next time I doubt it because I'm really busy at the moment but maybe next time I might just have the water meth um, working but uh, yeah well fingers crossed see how we go that's it for now and as always I'll see you by the racetrack